like the Apple Watch always makes me look like a dad. Look. I think I'm gonna get bangs today. Ryan said, you really have to think about it. And I said, I did. And he said, okay, you want it, you get it. She's gonna get a Darth Vader helmet. <laughs> I want to take a quick moment to talk about my sponsors for today's video and that is going to be Vivea. I was really excited and intrigued to talk about this brand for a number of reasons but I do want to take a quick moment to shout out my boyfriend Ryan because he helped me style all of the amazing outfits that you guys are going to see me pairing these shoes with and you're going to see just how versatile a lot of these styles are. Ryan works in fashion which is why I had him help me with styling these outfits because he's just so creative. He's like I work with fabrics and patterns and all that stuff all the time and these have really good craftsmanship like they look like they're really well made they look like good quality and I feel like if Ryan's saying something like that then that's a really big thing for him to give a compliment on because he is very specific when it comes to quality they have a major focus on sustainability all of their products are actually made from recycled materials which I think is just excellent all of the shoes actually have a thick cut natural herbal insole which is antimicrobial and then all of the shoes have an anti-slip sole they are so breathable they're so comfortable when you wear them it feels like they've already been broken in most of their sneakers flats and loafers are actually machine washable so comfortable great quality so easy to style so versatile all of the shoes are going to come in a box like this and it's great quality it's 100 percent recycled cardboard but the first shoes that i tried on are these super cute boots they're kind of like a sock fitting boot and it has a really cute abstract sort of square shaped heel there's so many ways that you can wear this and the fact that it just felt like i had already worn them for so long. The next shoes that I was like not totally sure if I was gonna love were these little kitten heels. When I tell you these were probably my favorite not only in terms of the outfit that I wore with them but the comfort. There are so many ways to style these in such a cute way. So good, so comfortable. I'm gonna say that about literally every single shoe because they are just so comfortable. The next shoe we're gonna talk about are these gorgeous white sneakers. First of all the camera is not doing justice to how soft the fabric is and then it has this really nice contrasting red little patch up in the front. I love that it's machine washable because like I said, I am not going to keep these white. There's just no chance of that. And then the final heel, these gorgeous little kitten heel mules that I got. These were probably the ones I was the most excited about when I discovered this brand. I don't think I can find one thing about the shoe that isn't just perfect. We've got the square toe in the front, the ribbed fabric, so comfortable. I paired this with a dress and I just felt so girly and feminine. And even though I wore this with a dress, I'll probably still wear these with cargo pants because that's kind of all I wear on a regular basis. But I wanted to show you guys all the different ways that you could style these shoes so that you could get some ideas for yourself. Well, I will have links to all of these products in the description box. If you guys want to get 15% off your order from Vivea, you just have to use the code Jasmine. They offer worldwide shipping. You are able to do free returns and exchanges. Thank you so much to Vivea for sponsoring today's video. Let's get on with the rest of the vlog. Yeah, Mini schnauzer right there. I got a bowl instead. The fruit stand. Thank you. Bye. I really like the cuff on the, the loafers, for sure. It is a bit loose here, which I feel like is giving me kind of a weird shape on the outside. You can give it, wear a belt with those, though. You That's should wear a belt true, with those. But it's actually pretty cool. And the pocket's actually not bad. Just the wideness is what makes me feel like it's... You like the chinos better? I mean, I like both of them. But, but you like the tan ones more? I think the tan ones look more cool. the style you're going for. Yeah. Ryan and I are heading to Franny's house. And we're gonna do like a little bit of like a sushi, hot tub, and wine. I probably should have brought you some beer. We're gonna go hang out at Fran's right now and have a nice little chit chat hangout session.
spent the whole day doing no babe now we are heading to my hair salon for me to get my bangs and i'm very excited about it very nervous very excited it's like a healthy mixture of both so wish me luck i'm nervous oh wish me luck bubba oh my gosh <laughs> The second she did the first snip, I was already like, this is it. And then she kept going and I was like, it's getting better. I feel like I'm in my hot bang girl era. Hot bang girl era. Mm -hmm. Why is everything always an era? <laughs> because babe, it's the mark of something new. So where are we going? You're gonna get gluten free, dairy free. I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get a uh, red curry, and that's with a coconut base. So, yeah, you got the whole grandpa fit on today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> superhuman strength. I am so happy. She's so cute. <laughs> What's that? I'm just going out in my tote bag. One sec, sorry. I just made a mess, <laughs> look at this. I was just so excited, I ripped it right open. I needed my moment to just show gratitude because I was really excited about that. What I wanted to talk about is kind of like a health update because there are some changes happening in my life and I went and saw a naturopathic or like a holistic doctor about a month ago because I feel like even when I was working out and in a calorie deficit, I was just not feeling that great. And I was like, you know what? Something has to be off. So I saw a doctor and I wanted to see a holistic doctor and one that was well-versed in SIBO or SIBO, IBS, you know, PCOS, all those things. I talked to her about the constipation, the irregular bowel movements and the bloating and the fatigue. And she recommended that we do a full blood panel 
and then I also do a GI map stool test. I finally got my results in last week and it basically showed that I wasn't wrong. I have a H. pylori bacterial gut infection. She said it's a very common infection for people to have and that mine wasn't too bad, but regardless, it was showing really high. And then when she looked at my good bacteria in my gut, I was deficient in a lot of areas. In fact, one of them I think was completely undetectable. So she was like, it wouldn't surprise me, you know, if this H. pylori gut infection along with being really deficient in a lot of areas for your good gut is the reason for your fatigue and for, you know, your irregular bowel movements and all of that. So I'm gonna be starting three antibiotics for the next two weeks. One of them I take twice a day and the other two I take four times a day alongside Pepto-Bismol four times a day. And I can't drink while I'm on it. So I'm actually gonna wait until next week cause I'm going to Vegas this weekend. And I would really like to enjoy my time in Vegas. She gave me a whole list of things. I have to start taking magnesium regularly. Once I finish these antibiotics, I will start doing a pre and a probiotic. When it came to my dietary, restriction she was like I want you to stop eating after like seven or eight o'clock and try intermittent fasting I think it's just gonna be good for your digestion overall because you're having a hard time metabolizing and breaking things down and then she also told me to be dairy free until mid-october she's like no dairy not an ounce of it and she was like you don't actually have a gluten intolerance but I would prefer for you to avoid gluten until mid-october I am avoiding gluten however I've heard horror stories of people avoiding gluten for a month that weren't gluten intolerant and then they start eating it again and it makes them super sick. I'm gonna try and have gluten like once or twice a week. I'm just not gonna frequent it as much. Typically, like I would like to have a bagel and cream cheese, which is literally gluten and dairy. I know that I can get like gluten-free bagels and I can get dairy-free cream cheese, but I just really what's gonna be hard to avoid is like my chocolate bars and my like Doritos. And I know that that stuff isn't good for me, but I am only human. Anyway, dairy-free mid-October, minimizing my gluten intake until September, she told me, and then I'm good to go back to eating gluten. But I'm also tracking my stomach progress to kind of see how that changes and if I feel less bloated. I did notice yesterday I was really gassy and I was like, that's weird. But apparently it can be pretty calming because it can take up to three weeks for dairy to completely leave your system. So interesting experience. We'll see how it changes because I do have dairy in some form every single day. I think it'll be pretty easy. It's already feeling a lot easier and I'm kind of figuring out what I can and can't eat, finding alternatives to snacks that I love and yeah. That's a little health diet update. I'm really just doing that, maybe Pilates like two times a week and trying to just walk more. That's the update. We'll keep you guys posted. <laughs>